Hi, my name is Dave Madden. I'm with JB Industries, and I'd like to discuss valve core removal tools with you. Valve core removal tools have been available for decades. Originally, they were designed to remove valve cores from systems under pressure, since there was no good way to do it, and you didn't want to have to recover all the refrigerant just to change a valve core. So the early ones consisted of a ball valve, basically, and an extractor rod, where you would push the rod in, there's a tip, you would unscrew the valve core, pull it out, again, this would be under pressure, close the ball valve, put in the new valve core, reinsert it. So they were great. Uh, they worked well for decades and decades. The next evolution of valve core removal technology was adding the side port. So what this side port allows you to do is to attach a micron gauge. For years, uh, people didn't use micron gauges, but even when they did, they didn't have a great spot to put them, to attach them, to get a proper reading and do a proper rise test. The side valve provides an excellent location for that because when you close off the valve, you're eliminating your hoses, your manifold, any tool outside the system, you're eliminating that from your rise test. A lot of you have been on a job where you're getting a rise. It could be due to your hose, either outgassing or maybe a cut gasket. By using a valve core removal tool with a side port and closing that ball valve on both your high and low side, you eliminate all that from your rise test. But one problem remained. The side port has a valve core and your vacuum gauge has a depressor. So when you screw it on, it opens your pathway for vacuum. So let's say you get down to 500 microns on a system. What do you do with your micron gauge? If you remove the gauge, a little air will enter back in the system. And that's not always insignificant. You spent hours evacuating your system. Why do you want any air back in? Your other option was to start charging the system. You hook a hose up to your quarter inch schrader and you pump refrigeration to your system, but now your vacuum gauge is being attacked by refrigerant. So best case, you're gonna get bad readings because it's a thermal sensor. Your worst case, you could damage your micron gauge for good. So we've come up with a solution. The next innovation in valve core removal tools is our new valve core removal tool with a slide valve. The new valve core removal tool with a slide valve has many advantages over the competition. First, it has an inline valve where you can just simply open and close it with one hand. Traditional ones, you have to turn it at 90, you have to use two hands maybe to hold the hose to get the thing open and closed. This thing opens and closes in line, very easy. It also has an extractor rod with a standard handle but we do have options that are available with torque extractor rods. So valve cores need to be torqued between three and five inch pounds. That is the standard, that's the industry standard for valve cores. If you over tighten the valve core, you can break it and now you've got to replace it again. If you under tighten the valve core, refrigerant can leak by. So our valve core removal tool with a torque handle is preset to 4.5 inch pounds. So when you hit that torque, it will release. So you cannot over tighten the valve core and you can't under tighten it. So that's a really nice feature of our new valve core removal tool. However, the most important feature of our valve core removal tool by far, and JB has a patent on it, is the slide valve on the side port. So the new valve core removal tool has a side port for your vacuum gauge, as it should. But to address that issue of air in or refrigerant out, we've come up with a little slide valve, and that's open, that's closed. Very little travel, you don't need much. You just need enough air to get through to get an accurate micron reading. So in this situation here, this tank represents the system. I have my micron gauge on the side port, and th this is my Schrader out of the system. So when I get to 500 microns with this open, I simply pull this up, and I've locked it off. So now I can either take my micron gauge off, air will not enter, or I can leave my gauge on charge, refrigerant can't hit my delicate sensor on my micron gauge. Please check out these new valve core removal tools with the slide valve side port at your local wholesaler.